Hi, I'm Sue Fraser and uh, I'm going to show you how to make uh, a little landscape out of felt today. Um, so I sell these little packs. Now I'm not going to lie to you, this is take two. So I've actually already taken everything out of the pack before and made a picture, taking it all apart again. Right, so this is the wall that comes in the pack. There's more than enough to make uh, probably two or three landscapes actually, but I put plenty in. Um, then you also get a piece of pre-felt to work with and a little packet of bits and pieces that you can use to embellish your picture with afterwards. It's a bit of a mishmash but we'll sort all that out afterwards. So there you are, you've got your little red roof cottage, some angelina fibre some clouds, I don't know what that stuff is made of, and these little things I used to make sheep with. So I'll put that to one side for now and point you down at the workstation. So I hope you can see it right. This is why I've had to do it again because I didn't get things quite in the right place before. Okay, so let's start by doing the sky. So I like to use this nice dark blue for the, the top of the sky. So what you do is um, you put your hand like this. So you pinch it, a pinch about an inch like that, pull and, and then just lay it flat. So pinch and pull and then try to lay your fibres so that they are maybe at different angles. And that way the, the fibres will bond together more easily when you wet them. Like that. So you can do the first few layers quite chunky, but when we come to the, the subsequent layers, we're going to make, make them a little bit thinner and try and blend them a bit. So again, this is a bit messy because as I say, this is take two, so I've put everything back in the packet again. Um, right. Again, just lay it flat like that nice vibrant colour. So we, we don't want to put too much of the, the dark blue on because we want it to be nice and bright. Put a bit more in the middle there. I think the best way to learn is to see somebody else doing it. Right so yeah I'm in the cabin today it's a very rainy day here in Scotland and we can't go anywhere because we're in lockdown because of the pandemic. So this is a good day to start thinking about putting everything online because I think that's the way that everything's going these days. Now we've learned how to use Zoom and Teams and the rest of them. So it's time to start uh, getting digital. So there we are. There's a bit of a stormy sky. It might be nice to put a little bit more of this over the top, break it up a little bit. So I'm working upside down at the moment, so um, it probably looks completely different to what I'm thinking it looks. So yeah, I hope you're all keeping safe and well where you are. Right, let's do some of the, the foreground now. Now I like to do um, quite a dark top and bottom and then the middle section looks a little bit brighter um, and it gives you more of a sense of distance in the middle. Just put these along here like that. Um, I think it might be nice to maybe make it higher on one side than the other. Um, then we'll use the lighter green. Oops. So I'm doing very, everything very quickly, but you can just take your time doing yours. And then we've got the brown. I'll maybe make the brown a little bit thinner. 
and the yellow i like the yellow because it sometimes looks makes it look as if you've got um sort of sunshine on the top of a hill maybe use a little bit less of that one Put some at the bottom it's quite good for making a bit of a bit of a shadow i might take that off i don't know about that um let's put a bit more of this in shall we but thin like this so that you see the other colors coming through underneath It's a bit more effective then. So I'll put it put it over the top there just so that you see the other colours coming through. We could even make it a little bit more of the sunny side from the from that side there. There we are. This looks completely different to the one that I made a few minutes ago. Right, I'm just going to turn it around now so that I can have a look, see what it looks like. Also gives me an idea of where I'm going to put that little house. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. So um, I think I'm going to put the wee house over this side. So I'm going to plant that somewhere around about here because there's a shadow underneath it. So it looks a little bit like there's a, a path coming down, perhaps in a little bit further. And then we can put some of the sheep at the top of the hill here. Because they're quite small, I want to put them quite high up so they look like they're in the distance. Well, you could put them down here, but they would look... I think yeah, you, need to, you need to do either one or the other, up up in the hills or down at the front. So there we are, I've got a nice flock of sheep. The the Angelina fibre, that's the um, sparkly stuff. That always gets wrapped up with it, but I'd just like to just put it wherever it wants to fall. Um, there's your clouds. Tease them out nice and thinly and just lay them in the sky. Now with, with all these extra fibers that you're putting on, they don't necessarily bond to the, um, to the wool. So what you have to do is to tie them in place by putting some more fibers over the top. So for example, with the clouds, I'm gonna put some very, very, very thin wool over the top of it to hold it in place. It does look effective if you put the dark stuff over it as well, but you've got to do it really, really thinly. Otherwise you won't see it underneath. So there we are. The same with the Angelina fibres, that has to be anchored into place as well. And the sheep as well. So again, really thin. And then we don't want them going up and down, we want them to go that way. Horizontally, like so. So there we have it. Just put it back up again. And let's have a look, see how it's turned out. There we are. So that's the first step. And the next step would be to sprinkle uh, warm soapy water over the top of it and um, put another layer of bubble wrap on top. And then you would so you'd put another layer of bubble wrap on the top after sprinkling warm soapy water on it. Um, and then you would rub it until it eventually becomes um, like a, a fabric. So this is these are some that, I, that I've done in the past. So this is, as you can see, it's quite, it's quite firm. 
I've got another one here. That's kind of similar. So yours, well, it's not the same to the same. It's not the same stuff that you'd get in the um, uh, same colours that you're going to get in your pack. But you can still do loads of different things with it. But um, but so that gives you an idea of the texture. Okay, so that the next stage would be to to do the the bubble the bubble wrap and the the wetting. So there you go.